Hello everyone and welcome back to Marvel's so, uh, Guardians Dad, of the Galaxy. You sucky because Quill took my side. He explicitly did not. As far as I know, we ain't turning the ship around and heading back to the Macriarch. I'll take that as a win. It is Matriarch. I know, I was making a pun. Cause she's a blue blood. Well, at least on her mom's side. Uh, when we left off, we just escaped from the Church of Universal Truth. Uh, in very, <laughs> very set PC fashion, we managed to make it off. Also, well, when I left off, wasn't Drax sat there the reading? Right and gets us out of the way of those church idiots. <laughs> it ain't cowardice, it's common sense. Wait, are you siding with Green Team on this? <laughs> yeah, well, a little bit is all we'd achieve before getting brain scrubbed and tied up to faith reactors. I feel like... Drax has moved place, but uh, oh well. Let's let's keep going. Let's uh, chat to everyone. Oh, this doesn't initiate dialogue. Okay, Drax. You all right there, Drax? I am pondering that question, and that makes total sense. After what happened with Nikki and that twisted promise, having to watch the people we love die all over again. <laughs> yeah, My family not great. did not simply die; they were murdered by Thanos. I think I'm... I do not wish to discuss it. No, no worries, my dude. I'm really curious if he has different dialogue sat there to when he was reading here. I wish they didn't change place when you... Like, because I saved and quit and then came back, but it's not saved exactly, you know? Yes, little one. You talking to me or the llama thing? <laughs> I was addressing the creature. She somewhat reminds me of my daughter. What? Are Qaddafian girls covered in fur? No. But they are resilient and stubborn, like the creature. What are you working on, Rocket? Uh, just a little upgrade for the Milano's weapon systems. I told you I'd put that quarantine zone tech to good use if you hit it from Nova Corps. Cool. How soon can we try it out? Uh, depends on how long you're gonna stand there bothering me. You want something? Interesting. Uh, because that was a that was a choice we made. We could hide the llama or hide the weapon systems. And now he's upgrading the weapons because we hid. We chose to hide those. Whereas I assume they would have confiscated them otherwise. So, uh, yeah, that is a uh, is going to make a difference at some point. Right, we we bought the thing in the market. I was a bit sus of it, but let's see if it works. I bought something in nowhere to remove that Novacore lock. <laughs> The, the guy said it was a lock disabler. It's not? Piece of junk disabler is what it is. Oh. How do I have to say this again? No shopping for tech without rocket. Fine. Lol. Give me a tick. I'll be right there. Okay, pretty sure we upgraded fairly recently, right? I don't think we have the cores to get anything we want. Although I don't, I'm not sure if we even really need anything. Eh. Oh right, we really have we really don't have much left to get. We only have six things left to get, and none of them are particularly great, so <laughs> Sure, I guess we'll get this. Glide around targets for a short time while shooting. And voila! Uh I don't think I've ever... Have I ever been hit with a knockdown blow? I don't remember ever getting hit, like, knocked down. Is that... Is that something that happens? <laughs> um... Hmm. I mean, I guess we'll get it. Sure. Doing... Doing... Done. Okay, so that leaves four things to get. Scan enemies during combat with the visor. I don't know why I'd ever care about doing that. Firing rate doubled when health drops below 25%. I would, like, I don't usually let my health get that low, but I guess I should get this, but I don't have the cause for it. Uh, the consumables thing, which I've mentioned I'm kind of worried about, like, picking up health drops when you don't need them and then not having them when you do need them. So I don't think I actually want to get that. And then the last thing is this, which I just don't feel would be particularly useful. I guess I'll just save up for this one now. 
I've made it foolproof, just for you. <laughs> Thanks, man. God damn it, they opened the fridge again. Boop. Alrighty, let's go through the various rooms. Let's go left to right this time. Oh, right, there's nothing in this one. Anything new to chat about with Rocket? We've done that. Uh, I guess not. Anything new in my room? We've seen that. We've seen that. Seen that. Have we seen this? What's this? I think we've seen that. Oh, that's new. <laughs> oh, why yes. I am the handsome leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. <coughs> <laughs> uh, Gamora, I was only looking. Relax. I'm not gonna kill you. This time. That's good. Okay, good. I uh, actually never got a chance to say thank you for the doll. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> no problem. I know how you like this kind of stuff. It was very thoughtful. I can count on one hand the number of times someone has given me a present without expecting something in return. Aww. Wow. Um, Christmas gifts from Thanos must have really sucked. That's putting it lightly. Thanos wasn't the giving type. Everything was a mind game designed to control us. Gifts included. Fun! So thank yous aren't exactly my strong suit. Something Mantis says I need to work on. Probably. Uh, the Celestial Madonna. How do you know Mantis? How do you know Mantis? Did she give you one of her weirdo fortunes or something? Not exactly. How do you know her? Uh, I maybe tried to pick her up in a bar once. Didn't work? And how'd that work out? Good. Until she did the creepy antenna thing. I was half expecting her to start chanting, Red Rom, Red Rom. Hmm? Red what? Doesn't matter. Point is, she's a wacko for sure. A really hot wacko. Who happens to be your friend? Yeah, well, that wacko saved my life. A few years ago. Someone got the jump on me. An assassin. Really? Nearly killed me. Wouldn't expect anyone to be able to get the jump on Gamora. Mantis happened to be in the right place at the right time. Seems to have a knack for that. <laughs> yeah. Turns out I had no idea how badly I need someone like her in my life. Up until then, I'd been so... Lonely. After the war, the Resistance disbanded. Richard Ryder got busy with politics, and the world mine had no use for someone like me. An assassin? Something like that. Thanos trained me to be a weapon, not a peacekeeper. Once a weapon, always a weapon, you know? Is that why Mantis mentioned suicidal urges? Ooh, you bringing that up, Because huh? I get it. I've, I've been there. I'm pretty sure we've all been there at some point. Let's just say I'm not in that place anymore. Good. Because of Mantis. She showed me another way. A place where maybe I can be needed. <laughs> Tell me about Christmas at Thanos' house. What kind of gifts did Thanos give you? Weapons, poison, the metal wire thing you used to strangle people with? <laughs> he gave us dolls. Once. Stupid ugly things from Xandar. Uh, and that's what... Wow, okay. That's... That's what got you into them? Surprisingly girly. What? I can't be feminine? No, just... I was really sure it was going to be a knife or something. Like I said, Thanos liked mind games. It was unusual for him to be... kind. We didn't even have a bedroom, yet here were these dolls. Purposeless. And they were ours. Do you still have it? Like, is it in your collection? No. 
I lost the one Thanos gave me when I was six. She was the ugliest doll I'd ever seen. I cried so hard when I lost her. Aww. Nebula hurt me. She loved her doll, and I knew she wanted another one. So when she came in to check, we started to fight. Bet Thanos loved that. He found us fighting, saw my tears, and... laughed. Turns out, the dolls were a lesson on the importance of not getting attached. To help us understand that, he took Nebula's doll and threw it into the incinerator. Yeesh. That's... I can't imagine. Nebula didn't understand why he did it. Only that I was somehow responsible. I started collecting these a few years ago. After Nebula... After I knew I'd never see her again. What happened to Nebula? We don't know in this universe, dumb, do we? I guess I'd do it for her. Wow. Um, I'm glad I bought this for you. And I can promise that there are zero strings attached to anything I give you. You're an important part of this team, Gamora. Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, truly. Oh, that was a really nice one. Big fan of that. This is new as well, right? I see you have discovered my criminal record. <laughs> yup. Uh, yeah. I guess I couldn't help myself. I mean, it's a rap sheet. I suppose that it is impressive to criminals. Reformed criminals, as in past tense, we're legit now, remember? I do not think we share the same definition of legitimate. Okay, fair, maybe not, but still. Guy who kills Thanos ends up in the most infamous prison in the galaxy? It's gotta be one hell of a story. Which part would you like to hear, Peter Quill? All of it. How I allegedly killed the Mad Titan, or are you enamored by my stay in the kiln? Uh, tell me about Thanos first. Thanos? Obviously. I mean, it's the Mad Titan. He was supposed to be untouchable, and then BAM! Player two is joined. <laughs> Just, how'd you do it? How'd you well, take we know Thanos he didn't, down? right? With sorcery. <laughs> he said Thanos is still out Come there. Come on, really? Really? After Thanos murdered my family, rage filled my heart. In my search for revenge, I found Mentor. You mean a Mentor, right? No. Mentor is his name. And his brother Cronus. Sorcerers. They gave me a sleeping potion that would grant my greatest desire. Finding and killing Thanos. <laughs> You're messing with me. I am not. When I awoke, I was changed. I could sense the Mad Titan's vile life force. Feel it pulsating from across the galaxy. Yeesh. Uh... Wow, that's a... I know how it sounds, Peter Quill. Yeah, not great. And I believe that you believe this happened. It's just... It's pretty out there. Even for space stuff. Regardless, I followed the pulse in my mind until it led me to a moon in the Black Quadrant. And there, I found Thanos, hiding like a coward. Our battle waged for days. Each of us trading blows across the moon's inhospitable surface, equal in strength, equal in our resolve to see the other dead once and for all. And then you... delivered the final blow. I recall throwing a final swing before I collapsed from exhaustion. When I awoke, I was in a hospital on Elanis. Many rotations had passed, and I was being hailed as a hero. For killing Thanos. Allegedly. The very fibers of my being say otherwise. I can still feel him out there. I have no doubt in my heart that he survived, just as I did. That is very interesting. I definitely hope we... I don't think we'll see him in this game necessarily. Like, this game definitely... We have our focus now. We have the Universal Church of Truth. And the thing we released and the matriarch and everything. It would be too much to add Thanos in as, like, a new adversary at this point, I feel like. But, uh... 
that is definitely like setting up for future games. Hopefully, I really hope. I really hope we get future games with these guys, because that sounds like a, a very good sequel idea. What was it like in the kiln? You would not have survived the cycle. Why? I maybe know someone there. Then pray they died quickly. Yikes. It's really that bad? Worse. However, after the chaos I wrought in my misguided quest for revenge, it was a well-deserved punishment. Right. The rampage. That is one way to describe it. After my battle with Thanos, I became convinced that he still drew breath. I demanded proof, but when none was provided, I convinced myself that others were concealing his location. <laughs> Why would anyone do I that? I saw his hideous visage in every shadow, and murdered anyone I thought was hiding him. Some of which were very bad dudes. Perhaps. It is not my place to judge. So, how'd they stop you? Novacor, I mean. You're Drax, the Destroyer. There's not a bounty hunter alive who could have taken you down. He turned himself I in. surrendered. Yep. What? Why? I had succumbed to madness and become the very thing that I hoped to vanquish. Once I realized that, I could not live with the monster that I had become. Well, the important thing is that you're here now, with us. Man, we're not going back to prison anytime soon. <laughs> Hopefully. That remains to be seen. Man, these little character moments are so good. <laughs> it's actually crazy. Like, I had no idea that this kind of stuff would be what the game was like. When they, uh, when they showed it off in trailers and stuff. Can't wait for Star Pants to see what I do to the weapon system. It's gonna be great, right, Musclehead? What the fuck Whatever. is that? <laughs> Just, uh, where we're hiding out. Oh, hey. Hey, Groot. Remember Hark Tafod's security system from last time? Won't look like nothing compared to our new weapons array. I am Groot. No, it won't drop bad guys into a bunker. Where are we supposed to put a bunker in space? One whole arm. That's what? 10% of Raker down? And I say we leave the other 90% alone. <laughs> Can't say I ain't glad I get to dissect this little marvel. But that's as close as I'm getting to this flarking cult ever again. That is so weird. I wonder if that has much of an impact on things that we got his arm. I saw you looking at those emergency door control stupid llama thing. You better not try eating them. I hope that was llama speak for I will not chew up your shit. And that better have been an acknowledgement. Huh? Sup, Gamora? Practicing your fighting? Hey, hey! Gamora! Go away, Peter. Oh, come on. Just thought I'd check in. That was some pretty heavy stuff you said earlier. Wanna talk about it? I don't need a pep talk. <laughs> Break into song. Okay. All right. No talking. Let's sing it out. What? Oh, oh, who's the hunter? Who's the game? You feel the beat. Call your name. Come on, I know you know this one. I hold you close <laughs> in victory. I don't want to tame your animal style. You won't be caged in the call of the wild. Come on, sing it! Shooting at the walls of... <laughs> Shooting at the walls of heartache. Bang, bang. I, I am the warrior. I am the warrior. Well, I am the warrior. the warrior. And heart to heart you <laughs> win. <laughs> See? Just singing. All right. I like that one. Gets me every time. What did you want to talk about? Want to talk about what happened with Raker? Want to talk about the guy whose arm you just ripped off? There's nothing to talk about. You chopped his arm off. And that's all I did. 
He's still out there with Nikki manipulating her with a slick lies and flarked up promises. I'm confused how Would she managed think... to cut his arm off and not kill him. We like, if you're close back. enough to cut Who someone's arm off, you're close enough to stab them through Who the heart, knows? right? <laughs> and she was that close. I'm feeling it wasn't and she's a Thanos. professional assassin. No one. Nothing. It was just a lie. Which is why we need to stop it. Right. I'm working on that. Just... Try not to slash the cargo bay in half. Could you move? No. <laughs> Can't exactly complete a routine if you're walking about. Uh, this is new, I think. Ooh, so swirly. Is that even a plant? I wonder where Gru picked up that one. Okay, that wasn't a big thing. The tools are gone because Rocket's using them to upgrade. Cool, cool. I feel like I've seen this before. Did Groot pick it up in nowhere? Hello. Hey, dude. How are you feeling? Busy. It's okay. It's just the two of us in here. We all saw a pretty messed up scut in that promise thing. I'm fine, Quill. There ain't nothing some Cree kid can promise that won't make my skin crawl. Okay. But what did you see? Was it Lila? Doesn't matter. I knew it was fake soon as she got into my head. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> nothing, nothing more to that one. Maybe when Quill makes the right call and flies us far, far away from the church, I'll consider us formally even. <laughs> shoo, shoo, move over. What are you looking at? Oh no, you ain't shooing through any more of my ship. My ship. <laughs> shoo, flock off. Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for, anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. Huh. That was a cutscene. Like, I couldn't move during that. And it was specifically pointing out that these were door controls, and it forced me to know it. So that is definitely going to be needed for something later. I would put money on it. That's like Chekhov's gun situation. They made me stop here and told me, hey, these are the door controls. So I'm wondering why they're going to be useful. Hello, Groot. I'm Groot. How about you, bud? You doing okay? Dig deeper. Are you sure? We saw some pretty messed up stuff in there. I am Groot. Yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person to discuss it with you. <laughs> you and Rocket should definitely talk about it, though. <sighs> I'm glad you guys are there for each other. Take care, buddy. I am Groot. I wonder why Group is still in his Novacore outfit when everyone else has, like, got changed. I guess he just doesn't have much to change into. Alright, I think it's time to go. Anything yet? Guardian of Gilead. Hey! Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Pyotr Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. Oh no. Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar. And ask World Mind for help instead. Oh? Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. 
Uh oh. He got knocked offline. Are you there? What happened? That's not good. That's not good. Oh my god, what's happening? Uh oh. Hi. Who be that? Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh dear. Oh. Good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. Oh, those guys. We heard about those guys. <laughs> A lethal legion? Uh, more like loser legion. The Blood Brothers were part of them as well, right? Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you are as imbecilic as they are. <laughs> you will not elude me. That I can assure you. I just need a few minutes. Stall him, Quill. Okay. Right, where are you going? Is he going to use the new weapons on them? Did you mute me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, identify with glory. What? You keep repeating this same meaningless phrase. <laughs> so, Lethal Legion. Cool merc name. I used to run with the Ravagers myself. We are far superior to you. Ravagers, Terran scum. The Lethal Legion is composed of the best warriors the universe has ever seen. And to me. Hey, look. I get it. You're the best of the best. You're the captain of a super elite team. I'm the captain of a... Elite team. Some of us are super elite. Yeah, you are. You are nothing like me. I am Glavri of the Kree Empire. My birthright alone supersedes any sense of worth you foolishly believe you possess spoken like a wait true he's Cree? <laughs> more like an arrogant a-hole enough i will not be disrespected you will be eliminated Give looks like rocket's shot, ready Helmethead. the milano's gonna blow you out of the sky <laughs> your ship doesn't have that kind of firepower what a bet Stand again Hiding rockets illegal contraband paid off. He's upgraded the weapon. a little something we picked up in the uh, quarantine zone. Looks like you underestimated us. Oh shit, we're actually dogfighting? Hit them hard and give them quarantine. Okay, what have we got? Dodge roll. 180 degree flip, shoot. We're taking fire! Well, oh god, it's not inverted. I'm used to flight guy. controls being inverted. I never like inverted controls except for when flying. And then when flying, I always expect them to be inverted. But they are not. So, would this section just not be in the game if we didn't hide the contraband then? Like. He's for making a name for herself, right? Unlike you, I am the very Feel free to show off, Quill. They insulted my baby. Yes. Feel free to show off if you die. Hang in there, bud. They ain't killed us yet. We have other weapons, it turns out. Can we send an IOU to Lady H? I ain't paying that psycho a single unit. Where's Drax the Destroyer? My bounty's for five and six. Drax can't come one with full right now. Brain left. One is all we need. That don't even make sense. We just wasted a ton of you. Woo! <laughs> Who's the inferior life form now, huh? These ships Still. ain't dying fast enough. Peter, I'm picking up something. What? Oh boy, hello. It appears I'll have to finish this myself. Try it. 
So you defeated my fighters. My cruiser will crush you. That's it? That's what you've been bragging about? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. It's oh, I'm sure it's very comfortable. I will not be mocked. Then do something about it. Lady Skull Suit us the worst block in timing. Is she here? Just her goons. This time. Turn. That did some real damage. Keep hitting his exhaust ports. Your strategy will work. Thanks. You just confirmed that it will. It's starting to feel like you pissed off the whole galaxy. Oh, fuck. Moron. That's a lot of mines. Protect our port. This guy's starting to sound like rocket. It's called language efficiency, Quill. Scrap sacks care if the galaxy's under siege. You know, contractors. We're contractors! Proves his point. We just tried to dump the problem on somebody else. You okay in there, Cap? Stay still and I'll show you. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? I don't see him. Just kill them already! There he is. There's an arc to this! Will describe the kill splain to the deadliest woman in the galaxy. Ha. Ooh, right up the exhaust port. Kill that, audience. Nope, not a thing. The Milano definitely. Turns fell. out boosting actually makes things harder. Ah! You can, if you just if you just stay like at a slower speed, you can actually do more. It's really pissing me off. I am Clary, warrior of. You're a bitch, boy. Lady Skull Scut. I doubt we've seen the last of her. We'll worry about Lady Hellbender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it. To Xandar.